Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this winged liner and a bold brow look. To get started, as always, I'm going to be taking my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid, from my lid to my brow with my fingers and I'm just going to make sure to blend this nice and evenly and make sure that the layer is quite thin. Then I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the first shade we're going to take is this nice peachy brown shade and this is going to be our first transition shade. This is going to make everything else blend really nicely and it's also a really nice warm colour to start off the whole look with. Don't worry about how neat this is because we are going to kind of clean up the lid with a lighter colour. Next I'm going to be taking this Milk Chocolate shade and we're going to be using this as the darkest crease colour for today. You can go for a darker colour if that's what you like but I wanted to keep the eyeshadow quite natural today and also what's nice about this look is that all the eyeshadows are matte also. So I'm just applying that with a crease brush and then I'm also going to be going back in with another blending brush and just going to blend everything out so that it all looks nice and seamless. Then I'm taking this white shade and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. This is just going to clean up the lid like I said and this is just going to make it all look really nice and bright. This is a really nice colour just to make our eyes look nice and open, nice and bright and it just kind of finishes off the look. And I'm kind of just going in a nice sweeping motion towards the crease just to create a cut crease effect. And what I'm doing right now is just packing on the colour. Because it's a matte shade, to kind of pack on a lot of pigment, you just want to go in patting motions. Next, I'm just going to be cleaning up the edges of my eye, just to make sure that my eyes look nice and cleaned up, and the edge is nice and precise. Then, I'm going to get started with my eyeliner. You guys know that I have done eyeliner videos before in the past. I have done a how to wing your liner like a pro, so if you do want to check out that video, I will pop it in the description box for you. But what I'm just doing at the moment is just creating a nice thin line on my lid, and just connecting the wing that we just created, and just connecting it to the line on our eye. And I do create this kind of look in my how to wing your liner like a pro video so I will link that for you if you want to see a more in-depth version but I do really like this nice simple wing it's nice and thick towards the end but it's a little bit thinner on the lid then I'm going for a nice pair of false lashes these are the Isla 126 lashes and I'm just applying this onto my lid with some tweezers I'm just applying some mascara to my natural lashes to make them blend into the false ones. Next I'm just applying some gel liner to my waterline and then we are going to move on to our face. For my skin I'm going to be taking the MAC Natural Radiance Primer and just be applying it all over my skin. I'm just blending it all around my face just to hydrate and prep my face for foundation. Then I'm taking a mix between two foundations, the Bourjois Healthy Mix and the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. This foundation mixture is one of my favourites. It gives me just enough dewiness, but it also does still look like a really nice amount of coverage. It's kind of a medium coverage, and I just feel like it's enough, especially for the summer. It's a really nice coverage, and I mix the two colours together because it kind of creates my perfect tanned shade. And I'm just blending that all together with the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Once that's all blended in, I want to go into some concealer just to highlight these areas and also to conceal also. My skin is doing pretty well at the moment so I don't have much to conceal so I'm kind of using less concealer. Applying it in spots kind of just makes everything look a lot lighter so I'm just applying them in little dots all over my face and this is just going to highlight these areas and make them look lighter and it's also going to have a nice contrast between the lighter and the darker parts of my face.
To get into all the little areas that that brush couldn't reach, I'm going to be taking my Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. You guys know I love this brush and it just gets into all the areas that are harder to reach. And then I'm just going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and setting my concealer with the banana shade. And I'm just using this on a Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just kind of patting this on all the areas we applied the concealer just to highlight and also set them areas too. Then I'm taking the bronzy shade. I'm going to be using this to bronze my skin and I'm just using this on a big fluffy brush to kind of diffuse the product all over my skin evenly and I'm just applying it under my cheekbone, onto the sides of my forehead and I'll also be applying it onto my jawline. To contour, I'm going to be taking the Fawn shade from that same contour kit and just be applying this with a smaller contour brush onto the deepest hollows of my cheeks. And I'm also going to be taking it onto the sides of my forehead. This is just going to narrow down my face. Next I'm going to be taking some of the Ben Nye Banana Powder and just using this underneath my contour just to make the contour look a little bit sharper and I do really like this step, I think it looks really nice and it kind of just cleans up anywhere where you applied a little bit too much bronzer or contour. Then I'm just highlighting my face with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and I'm just applying this with a big fluffy brush onto the tops of my cheekbones and also onto the tip of my nose. Next I'm going to be filling in my brows, today I went for a much stronger brow than you guys are probably used to seeing me with, I wanted to kind of pair the winged liner with a really nice defined brow, the kind of brow that everyone is pretty much wearing at the moment. So first I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown, just to kind of sculpt out the shape that I want, and to also sort of create that arch, and I'm just kind of brushing that through the brows to make it look quite natural. I'm leaving the inner part of my brow free of any product, and then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo Powder, and just taking an angled brush and applying this closer to the inner part of my brow, still leaving the very first part of my brow free. Then I'm taking sort of like an eyebrow pomade, but this one is from MAC, and I'm just applying this onto the outer part of my brow to give it a nice defined look. And then I'm just taking some concealer to finish off the brow and to highlight everything off. And then also to keep all the brows in place, I am going to be going in with some of the clear brow gel from Anastasia also. And then to finish off the eyes, I wanted to apply some gel eyeliner onto the inner corner to create a tiny little flick on the inner corner. This just makes everything look a lot more cat eye like and it really defines your eyes in a really nice way. And then I'm just applying some of that brown shadow onto my bottom lash line and then I'm going to apply some mascara too. Today I'm lining my lips with Stone Lip Pencil from MAC. This is an amazing lip colour. If you want to kind of have a little bit more of that grungy grey effect, I really like this kind of lip colour, but I didn't want it to be too grey, so I also went in with MAC Saw Lip Liner and kind of applied it more to the centre of my lip. This kind of gave across a really nice dusty rose colour, and because I didn't want it to be too dark, I went in with this nude lipstick from Rimmel. This is from the new Rimmel Kate Moss collection, and I'm just applying it all over and just making sure to blend my lips together just so that they look nice and nude and then to set that all and make it look into a really nice matte lipstick I'm just going on top of that with a little bit of translucent powder and this just makes everything look super matte. So guys, that is the end of this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this really simple but extra glam tutorial. You guys really wanted to see this makeup look seeing as I wore it in my previous video and you guys all really loved it so I hope that you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Don't forget to also follow me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. They are all Makeup by Layla. I can't wait to see you all in my next video and I will talk to you later. Bye guys!